Hey everybody, so in today's workout, I wanted to do some deadlifts. So that is what we started off with, the heavy compound movement, deadlifts, started with some warm up sets. Um, so started the pyramid upping weight until I got to a weight where I was at around five or six repetitions. So you always wanna kind of start your workouts with the heavy compound movements where you're gonna use the most energy, the most muscles, and you're gonna to need to be feeling fresh for those movements. Um, some tips for your deadlift. You wanna make sure that before you pull, you put take a deep breath in, you squeeze your shoulder blades back and push your shoulders down so your lats engage. And you're gonna, you're gonna drive into the floor nice and hard and then pull as it gets to your knee from your upper body. And what you wanna do is you wanna take a deep breath in and exhale as you pull up. So you're using your breathing to your advantage so that your core's nice and braced and you're breathing with the movement. So you're not getting out of breath, you're using that inhale and exhale to your advantage. Um, a lot of people either hold their breath or their breathing's all over the place and what that does is it just tires you out more or just puts you at risk of hurting yourself more when you're lifting a heavy weight because you haven't got your core under control. <laughs> some resistance band single arm bent over rows. So tied the resistance band around the cable machine. The idea is you put the, your body weight on that band, you push down, so it's working on my shoulder stability. It also means because I have to drive down to the floor with that arm the whole time, the rest of my body is more stable, my core's working a lot harder. So all of the force is being generated through those muscles that I'm pulling with. So I'm getting a much better contraction through my back and it works my core and shoulder stability at the same time. Then at the moment, I really want to be able to do muscle ups. So started with some um, straight arm pull downs to try and work the muscles that you use to pull yourself over the bar when you're doing a muscle up. So I wanna strengthen those particular muscles in my back. If I can get stronger there, I'm gonna find it easier to get myself up and over the bar. So I did 10 reps on there, and then I went straight into practicing the butterfly movement on the bar. So driving my hips forward and back. So extending at the hips and then coming backwards and again, that, that is the beginning part of the muscle up movement. So putting those two together to try and get stronger within that movement. Then I finished off the workout with some core stuff. So I really like these resistance band um, mountain climbers. So get something that you can tie a resistance band around, hook one ankle in, take a few steps forward until you can feel that resistance band pulling you back and then drag that knee up as high as you can towards your chest and feel your abdominals crunch. It is a brilliant core exercise. And then I superseted that. So I did 10 on each leg and then went straight into a plank doing the same thing. So get the resistance band around the back of your arms, up by your armpits, and then get into a plank position on the floor, on your forearms, and then shuffle yourself backwards until you can feel the band pulling you back 
and your core's having to work even harder to stabilize your body. And I did 30 seconds there, and I did three rounds of that. So, back from the gym, uh, trained clients all morning, then had time for a quick workout, so um, did some deadlifts and some kind of pulling movements and some core stuff. Again, short and sharp, it's probably only 35 minute workout. Um, and then back home, doing a bit of work on the laptop, and then that's me done for the day, work-wise. And actually, we have the evening off of Arthur. So he has gone to um, his grandma's house for the evening. And they're picking him up from school. Um, so we actually have the night off. And potentially our last night, just the two of us, before the baby comes. So we're going to go out and have something to eat and do some other fun shiz. But I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. But yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. It's very rare we get a evening off nowadays. So, should be fun. So, heading out now. And I wanted to give everybody a few tips. So one thing that I talk to all my clients about and try and get them to do is you still got to go out, you still got to enjoy yourself. Um, you still got to eat food you enjoy, you still got to drink drinks you enjoy. So what I've done today, because I know we were going out for dinner, probably going to have uh, a dinner that's quite high in calories, probably going to have a dessert, you know, might have a drink, might not, don't know yet. But there's going to be a lot of calories consumed this evening. So I've altered the rest of my day, the way that I eat, to allow for that. So I had... Um, a protein bar before I worked out this morning and then came home and had a uh, Greek yogurt, spinach and um, berry smoothie which you saw earlier in the video and then that's it because I know that I'm going to be going here and I'm going to be consuming a lot of calories so by doing that I've re heavily reduced my calories during the day and I'm probably gonna come out roughly around about the same calories I would eat normally. So if you make alterations like that to your day when you know you're gonna be going out, you know you're gonna be doing something that's gonna you know, mean that you're gonna be eating a lot of calories, then you can stay within your calories for the day. You can stay on track with your goal and you still live your life. So you're not making huge sacrifices. Yes, I've sacrificed a little bit today, but I'm still going to go out this evening and eat a burger and chips and have some stuff that I enjoy. So there's a little tip and I try and tell all my clients that that's kind of what you need to do to try and turn this thing into a lifestyle so you're constantly living at a weight and stuff that you feel comfortable at instead of going up and down like a yo-yo. So heading to go and eat now and starting our evening without a five-year-old.